Jeffree Star scene with Todrick Hall and Colleen Ballinger. And let's not forget Jojo Siwa and her mess of a PR. Let's talk about it. This is Rich Lush with the hottest news on YouTube. Okay, so let's talk about this Jojo Siwa situation. She came out with this crazy rebrand of a look and saying that no one in her generation has ever done this before. What? It doesn't matter. Like, we've seen this time and time before. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Like, Madonna's reinvented herself I don't know how many times. I'm like, Jeffree Star, Rich Legs. Like, people do this reinvention of them like, all the time. So for her to sit there and say that it's the first of her generation, I'm like, girl, shut up, JoJo Siwa. Let's just be honest. Everyone and their mama is clocking at the house, and they are saying the fact that JoJo Siwa released this album of her wearing this crazy gothic outfit, kissing girls is somehow like different. Like we've seen this before. Is you acting out? Is you trying to distance yourself away from your Disney brand? But in all actuality, it's you sh doing shock value and bringing attention to that. Then you kissing girls on yachts and then the water and stuff. Then the allegations that were brought up against you uh, that you were horrible and mean and rude to the members of your group OMG Pop or whatever that group was. There's this article that came out about Jojo Siwa that's very damning to her brand. And in the article, it talks about Jojo Siwa had a girl group that she was really rude to and mean to, and there was even talks about even non-payment. So there's all that mess. And for Jojo Siwa to act like this sweep it under the rug, no one's talking about that. And the fact that how close she is to Colleen Ballinger, mm-hmm. Well, I really do. I think... I can't. You have to be a little delusional to be Jojo Siwa. Like, you just have to be. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I think I really think she thinks that she's this like cutting edge artist. She's brilliant at marketing. She really is. Yeah. Um, but also you have to remember, like, she still is really good friends with Colleen. The way that she talks about like, the other dance mom girls, like not showing up to the dance mom things, like all the other antics that are very JoJo. They're all like super like out of touch, you know what I mean? So that's why I also think she's kind of like out of touch about the music. But I think I think the music is kind of like a distraction from that because like no one's talking about that, right? Like because she had really bad takes, and I like a hundred percent the reason she like wants all this attention and stuff like that. As of anyone, like all celebrities, me, anybody, like they want attention because you had some like trauma in your life, right? Like you didn't get attention somewhere, or like you need attention. There's like some there's some sort of like trauma you've had that you're like I need to be center of attention all the time, and she obviously has like a big issue with that. So I think she needs to be center of attention for sure, but. But it's also kind of like, I used to do this all the time when I trolled, right? So, like, there was something bad that happened. So, then I would do something else to, just like, distract, right? To be like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to put this out so you forget what just happened. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of this. Because now people are only talking about this. And I did watch the Colleen vlog where she goes, you know, I was just so inspired. Because she gets so much hate. But she's just being herself. And I was like, the reason she was getting so much hate is because she was defending being a 13-year-old, <laughs> being friends with 30-year-old. She was telling kids that had trauma to be like, oh, come here, you ungrateful little brats. Like, be on TV. Like, she actually said horrible stuff to people. Like, she's actually like being the extra OMG pop stuff was awful. So, no one's talking about that now. No one cares about that. So, everyone's like, now everyone's like making fun of her dance and she's going extra with it and stuff like that. And it's all distraction. So, now it looks like, oh man, people are making fun of JoJo, but this, it's actually a, like a bop and she actually is a really good dancer and like it's actually good. So, it's kind of turning where people are like, you know, it becomes camp and it becomes cute. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like Rebecca Black Friday where it's just like almost like, oh, it's like a cute camp thing as opposed to like we forgot how all the awful stuff she said like last year. You know what I mean? That's my theory is like all of it mixed together. It's just like a little distraction. So, there's that mess of a, there's so much. We're going to talk about Jeffree Star and Todrick Khan in a minute, but I do want to say. Tim, that you are aware that JoJo Siwa is currently rebranding on social media, um, and I'm sure you're being force-fed her new song and her new image and everything. Um, the algorithm's really going in her favor <laughs> and just pushing it out to everyone who doesn't want to see it. But anyways, I just have a lot to say about it. So anyway, as we're aware, JoJo Siwa is like the, you know, annoying ponytail glitz for kids kind of thing, right? Friends with all the predators and stuff, right? That one, and promotes them, which we'll get to as well. Um, but anyway, there's something happening that people aren't addressing. And it is that the JoJo Siwa rebrand is conveniently coming right after JoJo Siwa got basically accused of 
hiring kids and treating them like shit. For example, with her and her mother refusing to allow one of the kids that they had hired to go to the bathroom and told them because they were bleeding because of a medical condition and said, just throw a tampon or a pad over it. Like, Jojo Siwa in February got completely destroyed by the Rolling Stones with an article that said about how her and her mother basically just um, treat kids that they employ like shit and overwork them and are awful, awful, awful people. And it's very convenient that right as this article came out two months ago, Jojo Siwa started to rebrand on social media. So the reason I haven't spoke about this rebrand until now up this is literally a distraction she is purposely being so just awful so that you're then not talking about the fact that she and her mother were accused of basically treating all these kids like shit so that's why she's doing it no one's talking about this article anymore no one's talking about the fact that she um is you know her and her mother are just like borderline abusive towards kids and fucking oh my like all these different things right this is why the rerun is happening. A big thank you to today's sponsor. Thank you, AdamandEve.com. Thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. A portion of the proceeds goes to help fight and find a cure for HIV and AIDS. And use code LUX, L-U-X, at AdamandEve.com for free shipping, 50% off, duh. So it's a no-brainer. It's practically Black Friday prices. So check out AdamandEve.com. Use code LUX to save some money. So thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. Okay. So Todrick Hall, which I've met before, Jeffree Star, which I've met before, I never thought they would be in the same universe together, like in the same room, breathing the same air. I, when I saw this happen, I, I was like, no way, no way is Jeffree Star and Todrick Hall in the same room. So this is what happened. So Todrick Hall threw this big, big birthday extravaganza eleganza, right? Which is huge. I wonder if like RuPaul was there. I don't know. Like, I always wondered like who was there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so he threw this big party and it looked fabulous. It was like cowboy theme. Like I liked the whole vibe. Like it, it was it was a it was a moment, right? Now fans are starting to piece it together saying that this party cost like fifteen thousand dollars or something like that. And I was like, no, wait, really? But then Todrick Call was asking people uh, for donations for like some house fire or something for him to move to, was it UK or London? I forgot where he was trying to move to. So people were saying, did he use that money for the party and things like that? I don't know, but he hasn't said anything about it. But with that being said, the fact that Colleen Ballinger, I mean, the, the whole thing's like the whole thing is having people like, what is going on? Colleen Ballinger, who has been highly scrutinized, highly dragged all over the internet. I mean, last summer, I couldn't get a day off saying my life talking about Colleen Ballinger. So she went to this party, okay, and she was dipping it and doing it. Now, the, fight, the part that I find interesting enough is that Jeffree Star has disavowed Colleen Ballinger, said it was gross, like he does not like her. Okay. Her, never gave a damn about her, horrified by the things I've seen. Yeah, no. Honestly, I, I know we were really like, we're all about joking around and having fun, but like, that person's sick. And I've never been a fan. So I was very shocked to see all that. And I'm glad you said that because a lot of people are afraid to speak up. So that's good. Why? Yeah. I don't know. So that's my official quote to Rich Lux. There you um, go. You heard it here. The primero impacto exclusivo en vivo. Period, bendeja. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he kind of find out he found out a little bit about it but then for her to be at this party with Todrick Hall and Jeffree Star they're all in the same room it was almost like it, it's you know what it's, it was like having this party is talk of the town okay Todrick Hall's birthday party was talk of the town in Hollywood okay shut up don't come for me leave me alone the fact that you had these two people who don't necessarily see eye to eye on things right I am shocked that Jeffree Star did not go up to her and they'd be like, you know what, Miss Thing, or something, okay? Todd, but, uh, oh my God. Jeffree Star's purse alone that he wore in the picture is $5,000, over $5,000. I think it's like seven dollars to $8,000, if I'm correct, right? That's more money than what the party's worth, 
Okay, people forget that. People forget these things, okay? I don't I don't know how or why. People forget Jeffree Star's dress alone is over a couple thousand dollars. Like people forget these things, okay? Just the, his wig, the wig alone is 1K, okay? So Jeffree Star is there. I would have just loved to be a fly on that wall and watch Jeffree Star work the room and just be, mm, hi, mm, oh, there's Colleen. Mm. Like, and you know Colleen Ballinger did not want to be seen with him. She probably saw him. You know, knowing Jeffree Star, which is so weird because Jeffree Star does not really go out to parties and stuff like that. Oh my God, oh my God. The fact that this even happened, guys, I think Jeffree Star, in my opinion, showed up, said hi to Todrick, took a picture, looked around, and was like, okay, mm-hmm. I think it's time for me to go. Like, I would, would not be surprised if Jeffree Star did that. And I can see that people in the room were like, oh, Jeffree Star's here, Jeffree, oh, Jeffree Star's here. Like, God, I'm it. Guys, I'm telling you, do not, I'm not, I'm not crazy here. I'm just telling you the tea. So, I don't know, I, I found that to be interesting. The whole thing. Now, I do think that Todrick Hall, in my opinion, even though he is friends with Colleen, he has doubled down on their friendship. I think that for his 40th birthday party, maybe he could have had like a really close knit dinner with some of his closest friends and have a Hollywood party and then have like a close friend party. Because now that Colleen Ballinger's there, all the heat is on him. People are talking about Todrick Hall. And it's like, he just released a new album on top of everything else. And I was like, oh my God. It, it just, was this to drum up drama? Because if it is, it's working, okay? It's, it literally is working. So anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Mwah.